Self Scouting is brought to you by Rothman Institute at Jefferson, the official orthopedic and healthcare partner of the Philadelphia Eagles. As the Eagles enter the bye week with an eight and one record, the best record in the NFL, what the coaches are going to do now with this time off is they're going to look at the first nine games, see what they've done well, see what they feel they can improve upon as they get ready for the home stretch, the second half of the season. One thing they will see on tape, and this is a real positive, is the play of Fletcher Cox. He has been dominant almost on a weekly basis. But the Eagles have also done some really good things to create one-on-one -on -one matchups for Cox, and he's really not that blockable one-on-one -on -one by centers and guards. Let's just go back to the last game, Denver. You can see the front alignment. They've got two defensive ends on the right of the screen. That's Graham inside a tackle and Curry outside of him. So what happens here with Cox at defensive tackle on the other side is the Broncos will actually slide the protection to the two defensive ends. Makes sense, they're defensive ends. So what do you get? Cox one-on-one -on -one with a guard. Not a good matchup. He collapses the pocket. There's a sack. Another thing that the Eagles have done, and they've been doing this increasingly each week, and I really, really like it. It's what we call a diamond front. It's five across, and in this front, Cox is almost always the zero technique, meaning he's aligned head up on the center. When you do that with this five across front, you create one-on-one -on -one matchups. Here against San Francisco, Cox beats the center, drives him right back into the pocket for a sack. As I said, really difficult to block Cox one-on-one -on -one with a guard or a center. The other thing the Eagles do really well is pressure. They don't pressure a lot. They're not a high percentage blitz team, but they have zone pressures. And here's one going back to Washington week one, where they blitz two from the left side of the screen, drop Brandon Graham out, but what they do here with Cox, who's initially aligned to tackle, is he widens so he can be one-on-one -on -one with the right tackle, Morgan Moses. And even here, Cox beats the right tackle. Keep in mind, when he was in college at Mississippi State, he lined up often at defensive end, and he won as an edge pass rusher. Here, he beats a tackle. So what we see is the different ways in which the Eagles get Fletcher Cox one-on-one. -on -one. He's certainly a mismatch against guards and centers, and as we've seen, he can be a mismatch against tackles as well. So when the Eagles look at their first nine games, they're going to see a dominant defensive line and a very, very dominant Fletcher Cox.